everyone, my name is Alexandra Peffer. I'm in China taking part in the most prestigious pageant in the world, Mrs. Globe. Every day I'm making videos of my pageant week. Subscribe to my channel and watch my pageant story series. Beautiful Mrs. Dubai, I celebrate that you chose a beautiful place to live. So it's supposed to be the fun uh, party and it was fun. Girls came in a nice funky looking, funny looking pajamas. One, two, three, four, five, six, Africa coming. Preliminary rehearsal, which means like we have to do everything perfect. Only two days left before the pageant and uh, we all worked hard on the rehearsals all day long. We were practicing and practicing. So tomorrow uh, we have the um, preliminary rehearsal, which means like we have to do everything perfect. We have to have a makeup and the hairstyled. Um, so they decided to make the last rehearsals before the preliminary one. What's supposed to happen? Everybody pass by the point, the girl is leading. We go like this, and now we go to our line. So this is the first line. Who was supposed to lead the second line, and who's supposed to come out to the third line? It was like that. Ladies, please grab your flag and go back to your spot. More to the front, your group, more, more, wait, 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 not yet, not yet, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, Africa coming, one, two, three, four, five, wait, How? no, 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 wait, who you going with, again, 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 decided to make the last rehearsals before the preliminary one. They decided to make it fun and relaxed. So they made the pink pajamas party rehearsal. Everybody was wearing pink pajamas. So it was fun, it was comfortable, it was enjoyable to go there. 
it was kind of relaxing. Uh, all the snacks were pink. Everybody was wearing pink, even the staff. And of course, Mrs. Globe gave us uh, presents. Beautiful Mrs. Dubai. I celebrate that you chose a beautiful place to live. I'm sure you enjoy it very much. And this is the first time we have the Biden pageant and you are representing it very, very well. And that, we celebrate that. Thank you. Mrs. East Asia. Um, they told us something good about every delegate. Uh, some, some of the staff took a speech and said some good words about delegates and gave a rose, a flower, just to make us feel well, feel good, feel happy. And also we got the book uh, written by Tracy Campbell about how not to care what people think about you, which is really important, you know, to learn just to be who you are, be natural and not to think what other people think about you. It doesn't matter. So it's a really interesting book. I'm planning to read it. And after living through an abusive relationship, I learned personally that sticks and stones can break your bones and words can cause the final blows that will kill your self-esteem. I've known since I was a little girl the power of words and how once something leaves your mouth, you can't get it back. It can leave a mark or it can build a person up. And I have a personally signed book for each and every one of you. I want to really encourage you to read it. It's a very short, easy read. Cyprus. Oh, I celebrate these beautiful pink pajamas. <laughs> I love it, gorgeous. So it's supposed to be the fun uh, party and it was fun. Girls came in a nice funky looking, funny looking pajamas. Mrs. Uh, Thailand was wearing uh, some unicorn pajamas. Some girls were like more girly, you know, more sexy looking. And of course, uh, Mrs. China came in the evening gown because she should look different. <laughs> But uh, most of the girls was just like enjoying their time, or having fun, jumping around, it was nice. But they told all the photographers, all the husbands to go away from the room because we just should have, because they wanted us to feel relaxed before tomorrow. Watch in the next episode. There will be much more interesting moments I will share with you. Subscribe to my channel and do not miss my next episode. I, I'm just happy, I'm excited and I'm glad that I came to Mrs. Globe.